Yes, yes, it's your boy London Jawa. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. So today, I've got another Carhartt jacket video for you guys. If you haven't seen my first video, click the link in the description. It's on the Carhartt Detroit jacket. So we know Detroit is the city. So now I'm gonna go to the state. I've got the Carhartt Michigan jacket for you guys. So this one's a bit longer. Seems like it's a bit more, I would say of a coat, more of a coat than uh, the jacket. But what I did today, I made sure I got a different color to play around with things. So the Detroit jacket, I got it in the tobacco brown. So this jacket is a bit more darker. It's more of a darker brown with a kind of purpley vibe to it. But yeah, it's still similar. Either way, I did like that Detroit jacket. So let's see what the Michigan jacket is saying today. I'm gonna try it on, style it for you guys, wear it, model it, and hopefully that helps you guys if you're interested in this jacket as well. But yeah, there's enough talking from me. Let me get the jacket and show you guys what it looks like. So yes, yes, here we go. I'm liking this jacket already. You know what, yeah? As I'm putting it to my body, you see that black corduroy collar? I just love how it's matching with my black trousers right now. And then you see this dark brown chocolatey plum vibe this jacket is giving off. It's a nice little separator from the top and the bottom. But yeah, it's enough talking. I got this in a size medium. Let me put it on, put it to the test and see how this looks on your boy. Okay, let me put this jacket on. Ooh. Okay, so this one's in a medium. Already one thing I'll say, it's a lot looser than the Detroit jacket. This medium size, I feel like it fits me better. It doesn't feel as snug as the Detroit one. So the Michigan one's a bit looser. First difference instantly, this is a button down jacket, not a zip jacket. So, a bit of an old school vibe. So, I'm just going to button it up, see how that looks. Okay, so here we go. So, this is a medium. I do like the fit. On the torso, it does feel a bit, a little bit looser than the Detroit jacket. However, I will say, at the top where the collar is, it's a bit tight for me. So, maybe I should have gone up a size with this jacket. But apart from that, I do like the fit on the body. One thing I will say, I've noticed a few differences in comparison to the Detroit jacket. So first of all, this Michigan jacket is a button down, a bit more of a classic feel, a lot closer to that workwear inspiration where this jacket originates from. I'll give you a close up. Good little feature is each button does have the Carhartt logo or the Carhartt writing on it, which is nice. Nice extra bit of effort. We've got two patch pockets here on each side, which I believe back in the work where times where I'm pretty sure this jacket was made for. Workers could keep their tools, their mini tools there. Um, on the left, we've got the Carhartt logo patch, that famous patch on top of the patch pocket which is a nice little touch. And then on the right chest, we have the buttoned classic over the top flap pocket, which is nice. Yeah, so that's it when it comes to the storage on the jacket. It's a lot longer than the Detroit jacket as well. It's not as cropped as you can see, but there isn't any option to adjust how snug it is. Give you a close up of the sleeves. So yeah, the sleeves. Cuff is done in a classic buttoned way. It's not like the previous jacket, but you can adjust how tight you'd like it to be with the two buttoned options. And these buttons also do contain the Carhartt writing on them. 
nice bit of branding there from Carhartt. See, the prominent feature of this jacket is that corduroy collar in a black. Very, very nice. I like this feature and I like how the black complements my black trousers. Lovely, simple, yet yeah, it does say a lot. Yes, yes. We've got the triple stitching, which is a prominent feature on the description of this jacket. I'll just show you from behind as well. So yeah, as you can see, this jacket has the triple stitching down the spine, which is a nice little feature too. Something different from the previous jacket. But yeah, let me open up the jacket to see what we have inside. Okay. So this jacket hasn't actually got any inside pockets, which is a bit of a shame. I won't lie. It does feel a slight bit thinner than the Detroit jacket, to be honest. So yeah, those are the major differences. Um, if I had to pick, um, I would say the Detroit jacket would be my go-to, but this is definitely a nice one too, I will say. If you don't want to have a jacket that many people will have, I'll say opt for the Michigan because the Detroit is a lot more popular. But yeah, this jacket isn't that bad to be honest. It's not bad. It's definitely a good thumbs up. I definitely recommend it for sure. Definitely not a winter jacket because uh, yeah, this is the summer version, more of a coat. Another thing as well, I'd suggest getting a size up. Me, I'll probably go and swap this one for a large because uh, I'm having some problems tying up or buttoning up the top button, mate. <sighs> feel like I'm choking, but it's what it is. We got it, we got it done in the end. But yeah, that's how it looks like with it buttoned up to the top. But yeah, that was a quick little review of the Michigan jacket. Another good staple from Carhartt, another classic piece that you can add to your wardrobe. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, Comment as well, I'm here to answer your questions. Recommend if you feel like you want me to try on a jacket, I'll have a look at it and see if I can add that to the content on the page. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. We're growing. So yeah, join the community, man. We're gonna take this to the top. But yeah, it's your boy London Jawa. I really hope you enjoyed this video. More content to come, so stay tuned. And I'm out.